Story of my life. Story of my life. Take her home, drive all night, to keep her warm and tight. Oh, I freaking love this look. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really, 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 really excited for this video because it is a fall makeup look tutorial, but it's inspired by Kaylee Cuoco. I think that Kaylee Cuoco. I think I'm saying her name right. This picture that I saw on Instagram, I do follow her on Instagram, and I thought this picture of her was bomb. I loved the look, and it was really unique, but yet really simple. So I thought that I would do my take on it. Her wing is really exaggerated, so I kind of toned it down a little bit, but I really liked that burgundy wing look. Um, and she also paired it with a nude lip, but I give you three lip options to wear with it because I know it can be difficult to match a burgundy winged liner. But um, yeah, I hope you guys like this look. I really, really love it. I think I'm going to be wearing it a lot this fall. I think it's beautiful. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys like it too. So let's jump into the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so I've already done my base. I did foundation, and I used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, which uh, I love. And then I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the color Light Warm. I used that to, under my eyes and in the center of my face to brighten. And I blended all of this out with a beauty blender, and then set it, set my whole face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, this is what it looks like. I also did my brows and my primed my eyes off camera. In the Instagram photo of her, her wing is like super dramatic and I don't think I'm going to take it out as far because I do want this to be a fairly wearable look, but we're going to see how this turns out. I'll be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, which is beautiful. It is full of all matte shadows and I really, really love this palette. So first I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and this color right here to set my eyeshadow primer and basically this is going to help eyeshadows blend a lot nicer on top and prevent any creasing. So I'm just going to blend this all over the eye. Since I want this to be kind of a cool toned look, um, I'm going to go in with this middle shade which is a very ashy gray color and I'm going to take it on the same brush and I'm going to use this in my crease just to help add some definition. Um, I'm using this more as a contour than I am a transition shade because I'm not transitioning anything, I'm just using this to kind of define my crease. And I'm also going to focus it quite a lot more on the outer corner. And I'm going kind of little by little and building up the color as dark as I would like it, but I'm starting with just very little product and building up. Just for blending purposes, I am going to go in, let's see, I'm going to go in with this shade here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the names of these, but I'm going to go in with this really light shade here. This is an awesome, awesome highlighter. Um, for fair skin. Um, it's really, really brightening, but it's also matte, so it's not crazy shimmery or anything. But it's really pretty. So using the same flat shader brush, I'm going to go in with that original color I used to set my eyeshadow base, and I'm going to take it on this brush, and I'm going to put this all over my lid, but focusing on the inner portion of it. So just like this. I'm kind of packing the color on and then sweeping to blend it out. And then you can go in with that middle shade we put in the crease and just further blend everything together. Now for the fun part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. These are amazing, they're very inexpensive, you can use them as eyeshadows, you can use them as eyeshadow bases, you can use them as like cream colors for, you know, all over the face. I'm going to be taking this flat shader, well it's not flat, this angle shader brush that is by Flower Cosmetics, it's the EO2 brush. Um, it's really, really dense and stiff, but it's got a 
an angle on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the jumbo pencil and basically put the product onto the brush just like this. If it's easier, you could also put the pencil on the back of your hand and then dip it into that with the brush, but I find this works just fine. And I'm gonna load the brush up. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw a wing with the jumbo pencil. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of stamp the brush where I kind of want my angle to be. And do not worry because it does not have to be perfect. And I'm going to go in about three quarters of the way or maybe just about halfway into the eye. I don't want to go too much farther than that. both wings done now I'm going to go into the Kat Von D palette again and I'm going to go in on a really itty bitty tiny angled brush and I'm going to go into this burgundy brown color it's a really warm brown color and I'm going to load the brush up and then I'm going to go over where we put the white did was help to make the burgundy brown color be as true to color as possible. I have both eyes done for the wing. I'm going to focus on the lower lash line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil brush, just like a small domed brush, go into this peachy shade, and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line. This is going to kind of act like a transition color for the lower lash line. And I'm going to make sure that I blend it and meet it up to the burgundy color that we made the wing with. I make really cute faces. <laughs> Once we have the transition color laid down on the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with this darker color here. It's really a cool toned color. It's just a little bit darker than the shade we used in our crease. And I'm going to focus this on the outer edge. Because we use this burgundy color for the wing, I am going to go in with a black eyeliner pencil. This is the um, Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in the color Ebony, which is just a very black black. You can use any eyeliner that works best for you in your waterline, but I'm basically going to go ahead and then just line my upper waterline. And this is really going to just help give definition to our lashes. So now I'm going to go in with my Light Caramel Lashes Mascara by Tarte and I'm just going to put one small layer of mascara on top and bottom lashes. And that's because I am going to go in with false lashes. I am going to do them off camera though because I have to be like this close to a mirror so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that lashes are on, um, I used lashes that have like an invisible band because with this liner with this look I really want you to be able to see the liner so I didn't want to take away from the liner by having um, a pair of lashes with like a really thick band so I used these ones they're really wispy and they're a little bit longer on the outer corner so they do accentuate the wing which I really like so um yeah that's what it looks like with lashes I'm going to be contouring um, lightly with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. This is in the color Dulce de Leche. I've talked about this quite a bit on my channel and obviously I have used it. Um, it's a cooler tone contour powder which I find is really really good for considering how inexpensive it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this to contour. Then for 
blush, I'm going to go in with this Milani Powder Blush. It's from the Rose Collection. This is in the color Romantic Rose. I've also used this quite often on my channel. I really like it because it's it's kind of a neutral, mauvey pink color. It's not too warm, but it's also not too cool. Um, and it complements so many different looks. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it on this e.l.f. powder brush, which <sighs> blends powder products so well. And I'm going to kind of focus it a little bit farther back on the cheeks instead of on the apples of my cheeks. I will blend it down, but this really helps just to kind of keep the face slim. And so if you're really worried about having a round face, instead of putting blush right on the apples of your cheeks, which can be flattering on certain face shapes, um, try keeping it a little bit farther back. It also will keep this middle area bright and open and focus on the eyes. And then next I'm going to highlight and I'm going to be using the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the color Gilded Honey. This is a beautiful gold highlighter. This is just going to add a little bit of warmth to my face without taking away from the eye look. I'm not going to put it all over the face. I'm just really going to concentrate on the tops of my cheekbones. Moving on to lips, you can pretty much do any lip color you want. I think this look would be really, really cool if you did like a dark green lip. I know that sounds crazy and it's not for everybody, but I think it would look really cool with a green lip, um, especially if you were doing something for Halloween or an event or something that would be really cool. I'm going to show you three different lip options. For the first lip option, I'm going to be using the Meet Matte Hughes Long Liquid Lipstick, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick by The Balm. And this is kind of like a, it's a hard to explain color. It's kind of like a brick, like a muted brick, brown, ready nude color. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna apply <laughs> So this is what the first lip option looks like. If liquid lipsticks aren't for you, I recommend using a matte lipstick. Um, my favorite are the Milani Color Stay Creamy Matte Lips called. I never remember the name of the line, but they're the Milani ones that look like this, and they have matte written on the bottom of them. So um, two options that I Think will look really good with this is matte naked which is a really nude color so this is what matte naked looks like which is the color of the milani lipstick lipstick that I'm going to show you as an option is probably my favorite of the three and it's the Milani matte lipstick in the color matte flirty it's one of their newer ones I did recently just talk about this in my haul video it's a very dark but wearable purple so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and again it's the matte look I think that the matte lips just look super cool for fall one. This one's probably been my favorite. It's the most fall appropriate, um, but like I said, it's really wearable as well. And that is everything. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope that you liked it. It's a little bit different for me, and I think it was really, really fun. If you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button. It is free, and you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'm super excited for October because we're doing a Halloween month themed, all Halloween themed videos in October. So I'm really, really excited for that. So make sure you subscribe so you get notified when that starts. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.